Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayyul Ahbab As advice to myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam I'm urging you and urging myself not to forget our responsibilities to our families to take care of our wives take care of our children as much as you are able to do so if you don't have money then you're unable to provide but if you have money then give them at least what is sufficient make sure that they are taken care of and that they are not left out and doing without while you have the ability to provide for them. Ayyul Ahbab, you'll be asked on the Day of Judgment about what you did for those you're charged in authority over. So if you didn't take care of your family, you're going to be questioned by Allah. So fear Allah Azza wa Jal, Taqullah Azza wa Jal with the women. And Taqullah Azza wa Jal with regards to your children. Ayyul Ahbab, listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, which should put fear in our hearts with regards to our responsibilities. And I'm asking if my children ever see this, that they forgive me for my shortcomings, and that if my wife ever sees this, that she forgives me for my shortcomings. Why, Ayol Ahbab? Because the person who doesn't take care of their responsibility to their family will not smell the fragrance of paradise or will not enter paradise. Here's what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. An Ma'kil ibn Yasar radiallahu ta'ala anhu قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ما من عبد يستري يستري يستريه الله رعية يموت يوم يموت وهو غاش لرعيته إلا حرم الله عليه الجنة متفق عليه in this hadith which is in Sahih al Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. The hadith of Ma'kul ibn Yasar radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said that I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying there isn't a servant who Allah has charged with authority over his people who he is charged in authority over and he dies on the day he dies and he had cheated those he was charged in authority over except that Allah will prohibit him from paradise so the one who cheats their family by not providing for them not providing and provisions ayul ahbab is not just in wealth but giving some time giving good advice giving islamic education all of these are ways in which a person can fall short and those are responsibilities of the man, especially in the household, and even the woman, she is in charge of doing, uh, she's responsible for her children and, and providing for them, educating them, giving them good manners. Ayul Ahbab and Tebi, be careful and cautious about these affairs and seek forgiveness often from Allah with regards to your shortcomings in these affairs. And we ask Allah the Almighty 
by all of His divine names and attributes to forgive us of our many sins and our shortcomings with regards to our families and those we're charged in authority over. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and grant us Jannah to Firdaus and help us as believers to do that which is right. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive and bless our brothers and sisters in Damaj and defend them and protect them from the evil of the people of evil. And wherever the Muslims are being persecuted, may Allah protect them and preserve them and bless them with victory. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.